really need to get ready like very quickly but in this video i'm going to show and use bunch of uh, new products which i'm extremely excited about i am going to try for the first time that is uh, maybelline super stay foundation which is like everybody is going gaga over it then i am going to use a new primer and the most important thing and the exciting thing about this video that i'm going to use this palette right here yeah correct it's so big it's literally bigger than my head so yeah <laughs> So by the way guys I have already uploaded a review video on this James Charles makeup palette where I have actually used uh, all the colorful shadows on my eyelid and on my face because I wanted to see the full potential of this palette which I will link uh, in here so do check that out So without further ado let's get started First I'm going to start my makeup by priming my face and for that I'm using this NYX Total Control Drop Primer just like the packaging and the consistency is very much similar to the Total Control Drop foundation range and they have claimed that this primer is best works with the Total Control Drop foundation I'm not going to apply the Total Control Drop foundation instead of that I'm going to try this Maybelline Super Stay foundation now to be very honest guys this is actually my second time using it and i really like the coverage it gives the bottle comes up with a pump which is like a blessing and uh, second of all this foundation takes like really tiny amount and if you are like applying it with foundation brush you are going to need much lesser than this so you just need to be careful here i am just blending the foundation with the help of the pack beauty blend and you can see how seamlessly it is blending into my skin and how full coverage it is by the way i am in the shade called 220 For my concealer today I am going to reach out to my trusty Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I mean you guys know how obsessed I am with this concealer in my every single makeup video I use only and only this concealer. So if you are like bored I'm sorry I can't help it I just love this stuff. To set my face what I'm going to do is I'm just using this NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It loose powder and this is actually a little bit darker from my actual skin tone. I got this in my PR package and I really like the texture. For my brows I'm using this brow pencil in the shade called Chestnut from Color Bar. Now this brow pencil is extremely pigmented. Really need to work very carefully but I just love this brow pencil. I mean it just like gives you an amazing output. I mean you can see how uh smoothly is gliding over but that is the only thing that um might work as a drawback for you because if you're not careful you might just overdo your brows once i'm done with my eyebrows i'm going to prime my eyelid with this nyx eyeshadow primer now i know what you guys are thinking that i don't really use eyeshadow primer for eyeshadows but this palette this james charles palette particularly need that so that's why i am opting for this uh, eyeshadow primer and i'm just using it with my fingers and blending it too if you want you can just uh, blend it with your brushes but i just feel that your finger gives you a very nice and precise application once i'm done with the blending the eyeshadow primer i'm going to just set it from this color the very first color from this palette called canvas now this color is really pigmented but the shade itself is really light this shade can work as a very nice transition color or like brow bone highlighter if you are working with matte eye shadows then i'm going to dip my small blending brush in the shade called 10% off and just uh, applying it on my crease and i am just like uh, going to deposit my color in a stippling motion and i'm not really blending anything because this palette uh, comes with this kind of rule that you are not supposed to blend the shadows in one swipe that way you will lose pigmentation and the, your life is just going to get much harder so just don't do that next i'm just using this shade called code james and again i'm just depositing the color with that same brush there will be no harsh line but a, a smooth transition as you can see here 
so you are not blending or like taking away any pigmentation you are just depositing the color and you are just getting maximum pigmentation once i'm done with that what i'm doing is i'm just going in with a clean fluffy brush and blending out in my brush i don't really have any pigmentation whatever left over i have on my eye i'm just blending it with the brush now to deepen my crease a bit more i'm going to dip that same small blending brush in the shade called no beans and just applying it on my crease by the way guys these shadows are not pressed pigments i'm not really sure but i think these shadows are not pressed pressed pigments so they don't really have like fallout again i'm just using that same clean fluffy brush and blending every color just together then i'm taking this shade called benny right here and just applying it into my crease with a very thin brush just to uh, create a nice depth i know right now this whole eyeshadow look is looking like a hot mess but don't worry i'll just go in and blend everything out and it will create a nice smooth transition don't worry about that for my eyelid i'm taking this shade called shook and applying it with my fingertip now this is a shimmery shade and i really like the pigmentation and the texture it's really soft and extremely pigmented and while i was applying it with my fingertip i noticed little bit of fallout nothing crazy but i really like it it's kind of deep uh, cranberry kind of red and see how beautiful it is once i'm done with that i'm going to dip a fluffy brush into spooky very lightly and just going to apply it in the outer corner of my eye my lower lash line what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw all the colors together th that are no beans 10% off and i'm just like uh, heavily smoking out my lower lash line you guys know how i love to smoke out my lower lash line and once i'm done like uh, blending those two colors i'm going to finish it off with a fluffy brush and some of the shade called coat gems and sorry for this kind of angle because i have already done my foundation off camera and i don't want any fallout uh, though there was not nothing crazy but i was just like being cautious so yeah <laughs> I'm taking this loose pigment from the brand called Kralan and I'm using it in my lid. Now this has like dual pink undertone, amazing for this party season I would say. So I'm just applying it very light-handedly because I don't want it to pack on my eyelid. I just want like little bit here, little bit there and just to accentuate a bit more. What I'm doing is I'm taking this NYX glitter glue and this face is stackable glitter and I'm using this shade right here with flat tip brush. Now Now, this again has a very uh, duochromatic tone like bluish and greenish kind of tone which is perfect for this party season and um, again I'm not like uh, covering my whole eyelid with it I'm just throwing it here and there and to tight line my lower lash line I'm using this Slum Goodness Kajal this is a great kajal you guys already know I mean it's a revolutionary product and it's like staying power is really amazing Once I'm done with everything now it's time to highlight my inner corner and that time I was just thinking how about like give it a colorful twist and I'm using this shade called Social Blade which is a bright green shade and applying it in my inner corners with a small tip brush I wanted to create a very uh, striking contrast because like all pinks and br warm browns are going on there and here a hint of green and yellow is like some kind of unexpected thing on top of that i'm using this shade called b to highlight my brow bone i am taking this shade called ring light and applying it with a fluffy brush it's a beautiful highlighter shadow now for my lashes i'm using my maybelline big shot mascara and i'm going to apply some false lashes as well so for that i need to prep my real lashes i'm done with everything i have done my uh, lashes and the other eye off camera and this is how it looks and i absolutely love it now to uh, contour and highlight my face i'm using this next blusher palette now i'm not really using any contour powder to my cheekbones because this is something uh, i have recently started doing and i absolutely love it this just gives you a very subtle and very natural kind of finish whereas your cheekbones and your face is going to get defined so here i'm just mixing two shades and just applying it from um, all the way from my jaw bone to my cheekbone my nose though i'm going to contour it properly and for that i'm using this wet and wild bronzer it's a great shade for indian skin tone and is really budget friendly so uh, if you guys are looking for a good bronzing or contouring powder please try it once and you will thank me <laughs>
to highlight my face i'm again reaching out to my wet and wild highlighter and don't worry guys all the shades and everything i will be uh, mentioning in my description box just go there and you will get everything for my lips i'm using this nyx cosmic metals lip gloss in the shade called crystallized metal i guess and it's a very uh, glittery beautiful pink shade which i thought that is perfect for this look get everything off which is very important i am using this wet and wild matte finish setting spray and with that this look is complete i know i have uploaded this video pretty late but hey come on you can create this look anytime you want and uh, who says that the party season over right just uh, create this look and uh, send me some pictures i would love to see them and if you like this video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video bye